Generations are used to separate different groups of things, but sometimes we use them to separate medications. Here are some well-known generations of medications and also one that's not so well-known. First generation antihistamines are things like diphenhydramine or Benadryl, doxylamine or Unisom. These are antihistamines, yes, but they also have an anticholinergic side effect, and this side effect can make you drowsy and dry. Your nasal passages can get kind of dry. The second generation antihistamines popped up around the 1980s, and they include things like loratadine or Claritin, cetirizine or Zyrtec, and they have much less of an anticholinergic side effect, which is why they're typically preferred for allergies. But the one people always forget is the generations of sulfonylureas. Sulfonylureas are used to treat diabetes. They trick your pancreas into sort of releasing more insulin. The first generation sulfonylureas weren't really that effective and you had to take really high doses to get any meaningful decrease in blood glucose. The second generation is the one everybody knows and for good reason, they're so much better.